morning, Chelsea High School. Welcome to this week's assembly. The theme of this week is independence. So, as far as we can go back in history, uh, I'm pretty sure Miss Fajan will confirm this for us, independence has been a key theme that runs our civilizations. Countries form around the idea of giving independence to their citizens and other civilizations fall because not enough independence was given. But the big question that I think uh, that I found in research in this assembly is actually, it's not so much the independence that matters, but it's the freedom that this is, that is required for the independence to flourish. So have a little think to yourselves, what is the difference then between independence and freedom? So the, the way I like to think about it, or the way that I've come to think about it, is that independence is nothing without the freedom to express it. It's the equivalent of having a bike and being independent to ride it, but you need the freedom to ride it where you want. It's no good having independence if there isn't the freedom to back it up. So what can we do with this independence? How can we get this independence and how can we use it in such a way that we have the freedom to be able to express it later on? And that's kind of what we want to be talking about in today's assembly. So why is independence important? It's all well and good me and all your other teachers saying to you, you've got to be more independent. You've got to do some independent thinking. This is your independent, your DIRT, D-I-R-T, your in dedicated independent reflection time. But what does independence mean? Um, I'll be honest, there isn't an easy answer for it. There's some examples I can give. I know that each and every single one of you has developed your independence over the past year. You've, over and over again, we've heard about an unprecedented year, unforeseen circumstances, blah, 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 whatever. The point I'm trying to make is you have gone through journeys that are once in a generational journey. You have gone through three separate lockdowns. You have gone through a, a, one of the messiest negotiations out of an organization through Brexit. You've studied uh, independently online and you've upskilled yourselves in order to be able to meet all these standards and you've done this on your own you are the ones that have got you through this and you are the ones that have developed your independent skills so it's not us as teachers that have been developing this independence it's you you have taken control you have become independent in developing your independence independence to me now is starting to lose a meaning I've said it's far too many times in this sentence but the, the, the message still stands, it's, it's, it's about you, and it's about you pushing yourselves to be able to, to, to use the skills you've got and thrive, is the short answer. Right, let's see, uh, let's see a couple of examples of how this, how this works in the real world. So, you are going to face criticism in the world. You are going to be up against people in jobs, in careers, that are going to see themselves as better than your generation you have been labelled the lost generation or the isolated youth, whatever, whatever labels come that way, but you've got to start seeing that not as a way of putting you down, but as a way of showing off what you have done. No other generation in history, sorry, in recent history, has had to go through what you guys have had to go through, and nobody else has come through it in a way that you guys have come through it. So use this as your badge of honour, not as your hat of shame for lack of a better word. <laughs> so I thought I'd share with you guys a little bit of story about independence in my life and independence in my family. Now, most of you already know my son, Jack. Uh, he's appeared in online lessons. He's, not through choice, um, he's appeared uh, in various assemblies and videos that I've put on. Um, and he's now, what, three and a half at nursery, doing some incredible things. Um, and I'm absolutely proud of him. Um, but not a lot of you know about my, my other son, Oliver. He was born just over a year ago, um, and very recently he was diagnosed with uh, a disability, with a brain disorder, a very rare brain disorder, which is a, a maldevelopment of the corpus callosum, which is the section that connects the left and the right side of the brain together. Um, and so needless to say, independence for both my sons is going to be very, very different. It's going to mean different things to them. For Jack, independence is about going to be getting up, being mobile, expressing himself uh, through nursery, through play, through learning. Um, and Oliver's independence is going to be very, very different. His milestones are very different to Jack's milestones. Independence for him is going to be about the basics, about making sure that he's able to feed himself, about being able to make sure that he's able to, to, to walk independently. And so what I'm trying to say is that independence means different things to different people. Your journey is unique to you. You and your parents know your journey. Now, you may have forgotten a lot of your journey, but I promise the people in your life haven't forgotten it. 
You should not be comparing your journey to the journeys of your peers, to your mates, to your parents, to your, their friends. It's your journey. You develop your way and you need to develop in a way that suits you. So being independent now might not feel very independent. It might not feel like you're ready for the, for the big wider world, but I promise you that you will make that point and you will get there when you need to get there. And it's our job as a school, as a community, as your family, to make sure that we are supporting you every step of the way and making sure that we can get you where you need to be. So my point is this, if I had to summarize everything into, into one neat sentence about this is, you know your journey. You know where your journey has taken you and you know where your journey is going to. So wear the isolated youth as your badge of honor. Make sure that you are taking responsibility for your actions. Make sure that you are the one that is pushing yourselves to go as far as you can. I can't stress this enough. It's all, it's all well and good me saying all of this, but ultimately it comes down to you and you taking responsibility and you being independent. The, you may have seen of, uh, during careers week a couple of weeks back that there's all these weird and wonderful careers out there that didn't exist five, 10, even two or three years ago. It's up to you to take those opportunities that arise, be independent and strike when the iron is hot and all those lovely other <laughs> cliche phrases. Anyway, I wanna leave you with, uh, with one last message. So the next slide uh, is I think one of the greatest speeches in film history uh, from the President of the United States addressing the world as a whole. So I'll leave that with you. But as the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night, we will not vanish without a fight, we're going to live on, we're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day.